Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Samar Ajawi. As part of his official visit to the United States, the Interior Minister General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa met the U.S. Acting Deputy Executive Assistant Commissioner of the Department of the Homeland Security, Lan Sanders. The meeting was attended by the accompanying delegation of the Interior Minister and Commander of the U.S. Coast Guard. The U.S. official welcomed the Interior Minister, highlighting the importance of enhancing ties between the two countries. The meeting also reviewed security challenges in the Gulf region, Iranian interferences and role in backing terrorism. In this regard, Sheikh Rashid hailed the strategic relations that link Bahrain and the United States, highlighting the importance to work towards reinforcing international counterterrorism, cooperation to enhance competency, especially with the use of modern technology in terrorism. Both sides agreed to promote joint work and exchange of expertise in training and cybersecurity, in addition to holding joint exercises between the Coast Guard of both countries and the activation of memorandums of understanding in customs affairs. The meeting also reviewed topics of common interest. Sheikh Rashid also met the U.S. Director of the Federal Bureau of Investigation, Christopher Wiry, who welcomed him and the delegation. The U.S. side expressed willingness to reinforce security cooperation and coordination with Bahrain and exchanging expertise in training to meet the current and future developments and enhancing the effectiveness of security authorities in dealing with security challenges. During the meeting, the Interior Minister and the FBI Director signed a memorandum of understanding related to law enforcement and exchange of cooperation to contribute to enhancing best practices in fighting crimes and training. The Interior Minister and the accompanying delegation also visited the National Law Enforcement Museum that highlights the history phases of the U.S. police. The museum depends on showcasing exhibits of technology and interactively presenting information. During the visit, the two sides signed a memorandum of understanding by the Director General of Media and Security Culture, Brigadier Mohammed bin Dana, and the Interim CEO of the National Law Enforcement Officers Memorial Fund, Lori Sharpie Day. The MOU includes building a partnership between the U.S. Museum and the Police Museum of the Interior Ministry that will be formed in the future, in which the U.S. organization will provide its expertise and consultancies. The meetings were attended by the Bahrain Ambassador to Washington, Sheikh Abdullah bin Rashid Al Khalifa, President of the Customs, Sheikh Ahmed bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the accompanying delegation. Under the patronage of the UAE Vice President, Prime Minister and Dubai ruler, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, and in the presence of Sheikh Mansour bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, the 8th International Conference on Arabic was inaugurated in Dubai. The event was attended by several officials and experts from different countries. The Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali Al-Naimi, participated in the first session of the conference with a number of senior officials from Arab organizations. The event was an opportunity to award the winners of the fifth edition of the Mohammed bin Rashid Arabic Award. The Minister Al-Naimi lauded the efforts made by the UAE for the Arabic language and the encouragement Mohammed bin Rashid's Arabic Award provides in the field of scientific research in the various disciplines of the language in addition to the active role of the Arabic reading competition. The Education Minister also stressed the importance of providing care to the Arabic language, noting the achievements made in this regard, such as more than 5,600 electronic courses, more than 30,000 activities and applications, and more than 7,700 seminars, all of which were posted on the Ministry's electronic portal. The Minister also highlighted that the Regional Information and Communication Technology Center, which is operating in the Kingdom of Bahrain in cooperation with UNESCO, is the first of its kind in the world. He noted that the Ministry of Education has taken important steps to activate the Arabic language in all stages of education through the project Iqra. The Bahraini Russian Governmental Committee for Trade, Economic, Scientific and Technological Cooperation, which was formed in accordance with Decree No. 18 of 2017, held the second meeting in Moscow. The Bahraini delegation was headed by the Minister of Industry, Trade, Commerce and Tourism, Mr. Zayed bin Rashid Zayani, while the Russian delegation was headed by the Russian Minister of Industry and Trade, Mr. Denis Manturov. The meeting was also attended by the Ambassador of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the Russian Federation, Ahmed Abdurrahman Asaati and a number of representatives of business sectors in the Russian Federation and the delegation of the Kingdom of Bahrain, which included a number of officials of the Ministry of Industry, Tourism, Trade and Tourism, as well as a number of ministries.
during the meeting, the minister highlighted the pride in holding the second meeting of the Bahrain Russian delegation committee, which was announced by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and Russian President Vladimir Putin in Moscow. The minister also highlighted that the past two years witnessed a large number of high-level mutual visits between the two sides, which resulted in the signing of a number of agreements and memorandums of understanding between the two countries in different fields, citing it was a clear indication of the close and strong relations enjoyed by both countries. The meeting resulted in a number of focal points, notably the establishment of a center for Russian food exports in the Kingdom of Bahrain, mainly Russian wheat, as well as the cooperation and partnership between Mumtalakat and the Russian Direct Investment Fund, as well as common understandings in aviation and air transport. The minister also thanked the experts from both sides who participated in the preparatory meeting yesterday for their valuable contributions, which resulted in enriching the meeting. Bahrain is following up on the current developments in Sudan, stressing its firm position and supporting the country in a manner which preserves its sovereignty, security and stability and guarantees the welfare of the Sudanese people. The country's progress and prosperity, Bahrain asserts its firm support for Sudan and hopes that the country overcomes this crucial phase to achieve the aspirations of its people for security, stability and development.